As we begin, breathe slowly and acknowledge that God is with you. Thank him for his protection, vision, and his presence in your life. Tell him that you desire to be with him, to know him, and to love him as he loves you. The kingdom of God is in your midst. Luke 17, 21. Just as we may have, the Pharisees wanted to know when the kingdom of God would come. The Jewish world had been under Roman occupation during Caesar Augustus' rule. Hailed for his Pax Romana, Roman peace, Augustus brought about that peace through military force. Instilling total fear in his subjects through torturous executions was his way of bringing peace to his empire. To be Roman during that time would have been comfortable and somewhat pleasant as one who benefited from the Roman rule. But to be Jewish under Roman occupation would have been horrific to say the least. We can't fault the people during Jesus' time for longing for a reprieve from their political oppression. Living life during that time would have caused anyone to cry out, How long? O oh Lord. So when the Pharisees asked Jesus when they could expect the kingdom of God to come, his answer may not have been what they were expecting. I imagine him looking around saying, It's already here as I stand among you. They knew that he could do miracles, but would this humble man be able to overthrow the entire Roman Empire? The kingdom of God is in your midst, he said. And in this kingdom, the poor are provided for, the sick find healing, and the captives are freed. Jews and Gentiles and men and women together proclaim the goodness of God. All are invited in, but the least of these are given places of honor at the banquet of the true king. This king rules with love, not fear. He is the true king who lays down his life for his friends. To long for a political kingdom wasn't unthinkable in their circumstances, but it missed the mark for who Jesus was and what he came to do. Now, as we find ourselves constantly in political battles, maybe this Christmas we can ask ourselves what the true kingdom of God looks like here and now. When the disciples asked him to increase their faith, Jesus essentially told them, faith grows as one uses it as a servant. Let's pray. Jesus, increase our faith. Make us servants in your kingdom. Our hope is not in political power, but in you. This Christmas, show us how to walk faithfully as your children in this world. Help us not ignore what you keep repeating in Luke. Our treasure is in you, not in earthly goods. Our power is in becoming powerless to depend on you for all things. You brought true peace, not peace fortified through fear. You are the true King, and we worship you. And now, as we close, think again about what you read in Luke today. What did you notice? What questions did it leave you with? Take a moment to pray on your own based on what you read.